Among my people, there is a story of one who wears only black and white checks. Here is the tale of John and Shinrix. John and Shinrix was the son of Hernanus. Uh, yeah, the horn cat. His father had smiled upon him. He was possessed of a strong sword arm, a comely face, a fit body, and a tongue of silver. Although dolls are known to wear in bright colors, John and Shinrix wore clothes that were as much more colorful than his tribesmen's as his voice was melodic. His trousers were red as blood, uh, green as spring leaves, and yellow as the sun. His tunic was the orange of fire, woe is blue, and the purple of sunset. His cloak was all these colors and more. His clothes glowed, but his bright colors shone, even at darkest night. <laughs> One night, John and Shinrix was sitting by the fire, finishing the wine. Long after the others had feast had succumbed to wine or sleep, when a giant bull appeared in the fire. Don't On this midsummer, a brave man could set things in motion such that by midwinter he would rule all of Gaul. Then the bull vanished. <laughs> the next morning, John and Shinrix pulled himself out of the mud, gathered his close companions to him, and took them into the forest. They sat beneath an oak tree, and John and Shinrix told them his plan. On the day before midsummer, <laughs> <laughs>
Three threes looked at this man on foot, no longer in bright colors, no longer in colors at all. Three threes, with one accord, turned their backs. He tried to cry out for them to wait, but his voice was hoarse from singing all day, and they didn't hear him. <laughs> the nine men who had broken oath returned separately to their tribe. Although having nice horses brought them some glory, it was short-lived. They ended their days as outcasts, unknown. John Inchinrix donned a hat of horns to remind himself of his father. He has wandered the world ever since, done great deeds, sung many songs. His glory is great, but he has never ruled the world, and he cannot to this day wear colors. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs>